everyone! This is Pat and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And this is something special to me kasi isa to sa mga bagay na sobrang tagal ko nang gustong gawin. It's not my usual travel, fitness, or sports video, but this is something directly related to those things na lagi kong ginagawa. Okay, so as you can see with the title of this video, this video is going to be about my LASIK surgery. So, isa talaga to sa mga bagay na bucket list ko ever since I was a kid. So, it's been almost three decades na ako namumuhay na malabo ang mata and nagre-rely sa eyeglasses and contact lenses. So, I was super excited that this opportunity came. So, of course, before I share the whole experience, kailangan ko munang i-share sa inyo yung history ng eyes ko. So, syempre, um, I think 7 or 8 years old ako when I was first diagnosed na malabo yung eyes. Diagnosis for our case is called progressive myopia. So, when you say myopia, it means ito yung nearsightedness. The grade ko noon was 100 for both my eyes. And syempre, that time, bata ka, Ayaw mo magsuot ng eyeglasses, di ba? And then, fast forward to high school, naging 300 na siya for both my eyes. So, hindi na talaga kaya na hindi ako magsuot ng eyeglasses. So, luckily, uso na yung mga glasses na may color yung frame. So, I got myself a violet one. I was a basketball varsity player no high school. I had to wear contact lenses. Honestly, this is the part where I got most nervous about kasi not everyone is qualified to do LASIK treatment. Shocks, paano kung hindi qualified, di ba? Went to Shinagawa BGC. So, the screening process is about 2 to 3 hours. And then, the screening process in Shinagawa is 3,500 pesos. Um, I was told na hindi ako pwedeng mag-contact lenses for 7 days prior to my screening. I had to fill out some forms. So, ito yung medi usual medical records or patient form. First step during the screening is they take my eye grade. So, ito yung machine na ginagamit usually sa mga optical. Basahin nila yung eye grade mo. And then, after that, may second machine. So, this is where they get naman the eye pressure. I-open mo yung eyes mo. Meron siyang i-blow out na air. Split second lang siya. So, parang yung feeling nun parang napuwing ka, pero without the pain. And step is the actual refraction na. So, itong refraction, merong chart in front of you, merong letters in different sizes, so from large to small. And then, ito na, yung cover mo yung eyes mo, and babasahin mo per line kung hanggang saan kayang basahin ng mata mo. Meron ding checking for astigmatism, so meron ng parang color wheel, color chart siya. So, it's red and green. Tapos, you have to see which one has a more intense color and which one has a lighter color. And then, there's another chart. So, ito naman para siyang clock. So, merong mga black lines. So, ipiliin mo rin kung aling line yung intense yung pagka-dark and yung pinaka-light. Ang final eye grade ko is 575 on my right eye and then 625 on my left eye. And then both eyes had astigmatism of, I think, 25 or 50 yata. Um, pumunta na kami sa tinatawag nilang dark room. So there are two machines inside the dark room. And ito yung ginagamit nila to check the eye na mas in-depth. So tinitignan yung size ng pupil, tinitignan yung depth ng cornea, and, and ibang details pa of your eye na hindi nagagawa sa usual refraction lang. The eye drops na gagawin pag nasa dark room ka na. Interval ng tatlong eye drops na yun would be 5 minutes in between. And then after the third eye drop, yun yung time na mag-rest ng 1 hour. So this is where na-feel ko na parang nag-blur yung eyesight ko. After that 1 hour, that's the time na i-check na ng doctor yung eye ko. And this is where they check yung retina, cornea, much more in-depth than the other machines na 
ginamit to check my eyes. So, this is where I actually will see if magka-qualify ka sa LASIK treatment. Kasi certain numbers um, based from your eye grade, your astigmatism, depth ng cornea. Basically, all other uh, measurements in your eye. And then, there's a computation for each eye. Tapos, there's a certain limit lang that they want to have before they proceed kung magpapalasik ka. And yung limit na yun, they follow it kasi they want na optimal pa rin yung eye health mo after the LASIK treatment. I passed the screening, thank God, but the doctor had to adjust some computations para pumasok ako dun sa limit. I had to do additional two treatments for my eye to ensure na magagawa talaga ng maayos yung buong LASIK treatment without compromising my eye health. So, in summary, I will have the ultra LASIK treatment and then I will also have the thin flap, the corneal cross-linking. So, I will be flashing sa screen na lang kung ano yung meaning nung tatlong treatments na yun. So, dahil pasado sa screening, first step for the during the LASIK treatment would be to fill out some waivers and forms and then dinala na ako sa preparation room so I had to change into a PPE parang surgical gown then mask then I had to fix my hair para and then of course I had to wash my face para super clean yung area okay, waiting for my turn to surgery so I think because of the situation now I cannot bring my camera inside Ito na. in just a few minutes I'll be doing my LASIK Okay, so while waiting for my turn, pakita ko na lang yung kit na binigay. This is for my treatment after the surgery. So, okay, first, I have protective goggles. So, ito kailangan suotin. I think one week nga, seven days. And then, for some patio norm. So, nakagamit na ako before. This artificial tears pag nag-dry yung eyes. And then, two more eye drops. So, ito yung treatment after the surgery. So, ito kailangan siyang eye drop every 3 hours for the first 24 hours. And then, I think for one week din, kailangan din siyang gamitin. And then, this is eye cover which I have to put on my eyes. Tapos, naka-tape siya. When I sleep, para hindi talaga matamaan and magalaw yung eye area. Dalawang machine siya first machine, that's where they will be opening up the, the flap in my eye. And then, I think that took like one minute each eye only. And then, after that, I transferred to a different machine. And yun na yung um, actual LASIK treatment and the corneal cross linkage. So, the actual LASIK treatment, I think three minutes per eye. And then, for the corneal cross-linking, parang one minute per eye. Honestly, sobrang bilis lang niya. May anesthesia naman na eye drops. You really won't feel anything. And then, for the whole LASIK surgery, the doctors and nurses will really explain to you how it's going to go. And each step of the way, nandun sila, igagayad ka nila iko comfort ka nila, they're gonna explain to you ano yung exact na gagawin so you know what to expect at each step of the way. And, ang bilis lang talaga. Nagulat ako na sobrang bilis lang talaga. Super life-changing. Oh my gosh. Okay, I am finally home and wala namang pain for me. It's more of parang ang bigat ng ulo ko. Parang headache. Pero walang pain sa eyes. Pero like, pag nag-close up sa eyes ko, di ba? Super watery niya. I've actually showered my body lang kasi bawal mabasa yung face. I drops time. Si Octaquix. This is Octalmic Solution Anti-Infective. Then you have to wait 5 minutes after. So the second one is the Prednisolone Acetate. So this one is 
steroidal anti-inflammatory. Okay, so this is the last step before I go to bed. And yeah, kailangan na cover yung eyes when you sleep to prevent anything from touching the eye area. Good night. Okay, so today is my first day post-op checkup and sobrang fast lang. Everything's good. Feeling back to normal na and I'm so happy. Sobrang dito na eyesight ko. I have to wear this for one week pa. That's fine. Today is my week one post-op at Shinagawa. So, looking forward to my checkup. Sana okay lahat. Pwede ko na lang ako tanggalin, pero if I'm gonna be exposed sa pollution, or smoke, or whatsoever, mas maganda meron ako suot na something to protect my eye. I am clear to do some night workout, so walking, jogging, yoga, pilates, and pwede rin yung mga resistance training. So for my usual gym, boxing, or white eye, just gonna have to wait until one month after the surgery. But I'm so happy kasi sabi nung isang doctor kanina, 2010 na yung vision ko. Oh my God. I don't remember the last time I've had that clear vision, di ba? 